All right, I bought this Univent automatic vent opener for a greenhouse from Amazon. I have a Harbor Freight, a large Harbor Freight greenhouse. Greenhouse works phenomenal. Um, I put a support in the middle, um, down the middle, just to support it when it snows out. I'm in Washington State, so I've had about 12, maybe 13 inches of snow sit on top of it with a 2x4, the only thing supporting it in the middle, and it has held up. Pretty happy about that. So it needs a quick wash, but overall it does its job. So the problem that I had, though, is it gets really hot in there. So I have two vents on each side. So on the back side, I have a Harbor Freight automatic window opener. I also had one on that window there. And they worked great for the, the first six months and then they stopped working. So it's been a couple of years, I just kind of manually doing it, leaving the doors open just to be able to get it so it doesn't get too hot. But I would like for them to vent like they're supposed to. So what I did is I went and bought that uni window of vent opener window opener vent opener whatever you want to call it to be able to get it so i can make sure those vent opens now the harbor freight ones i did find that i was able to readjust them at the beginning of the season about three months ago and got them to start working again so that was pretty cool but then this one decided to crap out so i bought this uni vent it was not as cheap as i was hoping for but it's automatic it should do it and it had really good reviews so there's a quick rundown of kind of how it looks, how it's going to be installed, and uh, should do the trick. Now they say you want to put it in the free in the free uh, freezer to be able to get the the rod to compress. So once it's compressed, I'll get it installed and I'll show you. Clamps on right up here. Clamps onto there, and then clamps on right there um, so just a couple clamps you just screw the screws in there sorry about the lighting here and there and that's good to go now I have the other part in the freezer cooling off so that way it compresses it so I can get it in here but when it gets warm what it'll do is it'll push up and push that out and then It'll vent. So that should work really good. I have another vent over there with a Harbor Freight automatic opener that you have to actually screw into the, the uh, window to be able to get it to work right. It only works about half the time. That one actually is doing really good. Add another one on this one over here that I'm working on right now, and it stopped opening last couple years ago so then I messed with it got it to open it again now it's getting warmer it's not opening anymore so I went ahead and spent the extra money got a good one so the way it'll work is the new the new compression will go it'll screw into here I don't know if you can see that it's actually little threads it'll screw into this lower part here and then there'll be a pin that'll go through one of those two holes to hold it and then when it warms up, it'll they'll push on each other, which as a result will open up the window. All right, there it is all installed. You can see the push rod actually hangs down versus the Harbor Freight style where it's all kind of more compact. Um, so what I did is I put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Then I got it all on there and started screwing it in, got it so it started. Put the pin, there's a pin on top. Way, oh, where am I at? Way up there, there's a pin. And once the pin was in, started screwing it. When I started screwing it in, the, the rod started compressing. And now it's compressed, the door's off. So once it warms back up, probably tomorrow, because it's already almost 70 degrees in here. So probably tomorrow I'll check it and it should be open. And if I have to do any adjusting, I'll go ahead and take a video of that. But for now, that's the installation. I mean, it's super simple, super quick, super easy to do. Anyone can do it. So it didn't require any screwing into the metal or anything like that. So, yeah, pretty excited about it. 
we'll see how it works out. All right, so it's 110 about in the greenhouse. It is 85 outside, and the vent's working. Didn't adjust it, didn't do nothing. Just put it up there, like you saw in the last video, and just let it do its thing. Good enough. All right, here we are in the evening. It's a little over 70 degrees inside the greenhouse, and the window's starting to close, slowly, but it's starting to close.